Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. It's Dan again with Excel VBA is fun. I want to continue on with our date formatting in a text box series. Um, what I'm going to do today is use a spin button as you can see right here. A spin button. It's this one on your toolbox. And I want to add one to both the starting date and the ending date. Maybe make that a little wider. And I'll just control C to copy and then I will paste right there. So now we have a spin button for our starting date and our ending date. And what I'd like to do is as the user clicks up, we, in this case, we can have it just increment or decrement, increase or decrease one day at a time. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to double click on spin button one. Actually, I'll probably label it SB for spin button in lowercase. And SB start date. And this is the spin button for the end date, SB end date, okay? Double click on the start date one. So on the, cha we don't want to use a change event for this one. I don't know why it always defaults for change, but that's not what we need. With uh, spin buttons have a unique one, it's called spin up and spin down. So let's do the spin up one first, and we'll remove this change. Okay, what we're gonna say is, me.sb start date that's the spin button so this is when it spins up that date is going to be the equal to me.sb start date it's going to be equal to the date plus one very simply uh, Excel is pretty awesome at adding one day uh, or you know minus one day and adding or subtracting the day to your date now we're going to take the same the start date button and we're going to make a spin down event and it may be advisable also uh, for you to put on error resume next at the top of these that way if there's any error in the date it won't give your users some kind of error they don't know how to deal with you might also want to have on error go to special message or whatever message you want to put at the bottom but that's more work and right now I don't want to make it that complicated the user should be able to know if this, this is a valid date or not if it's changing or not so just to test that out obviously there's nothing on uh, default you could make the default date today's date be using the date variable which represents today, today's date um, you can do that we might do that in a future lesson let's just try this 1-1-2013. One, one, now I'm going to click the spin button up and it's going to equal this text box plus one. Let's see if it worked. Alright, maybe it's not working. Maybe we need to convert that to an actual date. Let's see what the hang up is. Double click here. Okay, let's go ahead and put a stop marker right here and we'll click the spin button spin down button so put 1 1 2013 click the spin down button now let's see where we're at here so me that SB start date says that there is no date there am I using the wrong one? Oh, oh oh okay my apologies we don't want to make the spin button uh, increment or decrement we need to make the text box T TB start date not SB equals me dot TB start date minus one that should work let's watch hit F8 eh, still doesn't like that I guess nonetheless I'm going to change these to T's let's see here okay well let's use the C date we'll take that date so this text box is going to equal to the date version of that text uh, minus one and that ought to do it let's go ahead and try that now F8, F8, watch this there it is, 1231-2012 I'll take my marker off now we'll go ahead and put the C date on this one over here as well and let's now it should work down a date, up a date Oh, did I do it wrong on the up one? Must have. Let's see. Spin down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is still TB start date. 
we need to change that from the spin button's name to the text box name. Now it should work. Excuse me about all that. One, one. I'm holding it down. And you can see that it's incrementing and decrementing. There's also lots of different ways you could make it go up a month or up to the next Friday or up to the next payday start date or whatever using, you know, maybe a horizontal spin button. And maybe you wanted this spin button to be horizontal. You can do that by clicking here. And I believe it is in one of these settings here. Orientation. Let me scooch this. Orientation is automatic, but you could make it be vertical or you could make it be horizontal. If you are using horizontal, I think the spin up and spin down events are they're not going to turn into left and right. It would be like spin up would be to the right and spin down would be to the left because it's typically decreasing is to the left or down and increasing is usually to the right or up. I'll leave it on auto though. And then we'll do the same to the end date in case we, the user wants to do that. Again, don't get caught up by the default. We don't want to use the change event. We want to use the spin down and the spin up events and take out the change. So on error, resume next. And quite simply, me.tb end date equals the converted date version of me.tb end date. Uh, let's see, this is a spin down, so minus one. We will copy that and change it to plus one for the spin up event. And now we have a fully functional date system. 1, 1 through 1, 29. Oops, I meant the end of the month. Which one is this? Is it the 30th or does it go to 31 days? It does. Ah, 31 days. So you don't have to double click on this and start typing. You can just click up and down and up and down. So quick changes to dates. Pretty cool. Uh, one more thing I'd like to show you before I let you go is that when you're, uh, let's say that this was blank. So if I hit F5 to run this, you notice nothing's happening because there's no date there. We could make the starting date automatically be today if this is blank. For example, go to your spin event here, and we'll, this will make it a little more complicated on the front line, but it would make it more effective. So what we'll say is if me.tb uh, which one are we doing? The start date? If if me dot tb, so the text date, that's the start date one, it equals empty, double quotes, then uh, let's have uh, then me dot tb start date equals today's date. And remember I said D-A-T-E, just the word date automatically means today's date. It'll take the system date. Uh, else uh, other, yeah, otherwise, go ahead and run our code that takes the date minus one. So so yeah, okay, today's date minus one. Otherwise uh, whatever date we already had punched in there, minus one. And put your end if. And let's just do uh, that to the spin, to the start date. We'll finish off the other one. If me.tb start date is blank, oops, then me.tb start date equals today's date plus one. Otherwise, Otherwise, do that. And then we have to put our end if. Okay, so let's try that. Hit F5. So now, you notice this one doesn't do anything because it doesn't have any program behind it. But this one will take today's date, which is the 13th, Saturday, April 13th. If I click down, then of course it'll take today's date minus 1, which would be April 12th. Okay? So let me clear that out again. If I hit up, it would put the 14th. So you don't even have to type in a date to begin. You could just go, uh, that, this is the date I want. So you can just click these up and down buttons if you really like to click a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helps somebody.